what I as a producer do is I I try to control the things that I can control and technology the adoption of technology is probably the number one driver in the ag market right now we're, we're able to do site-specific applications where we have this GPS technology. We can take samples on two and a half acre grids or even smaller, and we can tailor our nutrients to the actual spot in the field where it needs it. One of the things that I'm really excited about is the, the new drone or the UAV, I guess we call it, UAV unmanned aerial vehicles, platforms that can gather data in, in a farmer's field in short order and give him real-time data back that he can use to make, um, you know, to make decisions that he couldn't make just seeing it from the naked eye. One of the things that I found when Mario was actually started to do the uh, mapping using the uh, NDVI, um, I was kind of skeptical of what it was really going to pick up, but as, as I started looking at the maps and seeing the color spectrum, I could see there was a direct correlation to the rapid growth with the, you know, what I was seeing in the field. And, and, and what I think is, is uh, important to note is, is you know, if, if you've got a less skilled operator, you could take this information and make maps prescription maps that could be used and it would not only save product but would when we use growth regulators if you put too much growth regulator out too early it tends to stunt the cotton and, and that's something you don't want to do so it has you know I'd say the benefits are manifold being able to be proactive and you know and staying ahead of the curve but one of the things that was uh, kind of interesting is we had some uh, 2,4-D herbicide drift from peanuts that were adjacent to the cotton. And Mario was able to use this um, technology. He could tell me exactly how many acres had been affected, which uh, was, you know, to my disdain, was more than I had thought. But, but the thing is, is it, it takes you out of the, den the denial phase, because farmers like to be in denial. But, but the thing is, is we need to be controlling the things that we can control and we need to be putting uh, effort into that.